you've ever had a tick, I have. And if so, it's not very pretty. Ticks are harmful to people because it's hard to look for ticks. It's hard to avoid ticks. And ticks carry diseases that can pass on to you. This topic is important to me because my dog had ticks. And I was always wondering, what should I do? One reason why ticks are harmful to people is that it's hard to look for ticks. For example, ticks like to hide in tight tight spaces. They are small and ticks can look like the ground or leaves. Ticks also are found in fields, wood, the host's home, and on the host. A host is a person or animal. One time when I was petting my dog on the back, I felt a bump. I looked closer and it was a tick. In addition to ticks being hard to look for, ticks are also hard to avoid. For example, while I was reading the article, Hey, a tick bit me, I learned that people don't know what repellent spray to choose. I also learned that people might not know how to avoid ticks. And while I was reading Centers for Disease Control, I found out that after going outside, it's best to take a shower because if a tick hasn't bit you, it will fall right off. Last but not least, why ticks are harmful to people is that ticks carry diseases and pass it on to you. For instance, when a tick bites you, there is 50% chance you will get Lyme disease. The most common diseases are Lyme disease, tick-borne disease, and Rocky Mountain spotted fever. People need to be knowledgeable about about ticks to prevent harmful diseases. People explore ticks because they can make you ill and have diseases. Ticks impact people because they can cause serious injuries. A long time ago, people didn't have the right cure for diseases and they didn't know how to avoid ticks, but now we do. Scientists are learning why ticks are getting larger and larger over time, and they are trying to make a better cure so we can heal faster.